Jesus, yes. we thank you, oh God. Father God, we thank you for you being who you are, oh God. Yes, Father God, Lord. we thank you for this opportunity to come into your temple, oh God. Yes, Father God, we thank you for thinking about us, oh God. Yes, Father God, we thank you for loving us, oh God. Father God, we thank you for you being who you are to us, oh God. Father God, for being our everything, Father God, for being the, the life in us, oh God. Yes, God, we love you and we praise you, Father. Father God, we ask right now, Father God, that you have your way in this service, oh God. That you have your way, Father God, throughout the entire service, oh God. From the beginning to the end, oh God. Yes, Touch each and every person, Father God, because you know what each and every one of us stand in need of, yes, oh God. Yes, Father God, we thank you right now, God, for healing, oh God. Yes, Father God, we thank you right now, God, for delivering, oh God. Father God, we thank you right now, God, for setting yes. free, oh God. Father God, we thank you right now, God, for making whole, oh God. Father God, you know exactly what you planned for us tonight, oh God. And Father God, we thank you for your plan, oh God. Father God, help us, oh God, to stay in your will, oh God. Yes. Father God, we know in order to stay in your will, God, we have to know your will, Father God. Yes, so teach us, oh God. Teach us, oh God, how to hide your word in our heart, oh God. Teach us, oh God, how to walk in your will, oh God. Teach us, oh God, how to obey your spirit, Father God. Father God, now we thank you right now, God, for giving us your Holy Spirit, oh God. We ask, oh God, that you touch us, oh God, that you fill us again, oh God. Father God, we thank you right now, God. Father God, we thank you for loving us, oh God. Father God, we thank you for loving us enough, oh God, to offer salvation to us, oh God. Father God, we thank you right now, God, for calling us your own, Father God. Yes. Father God, we thank you right now, God, for creating each and every one of us for the purpose that you created us for, oh God. Now, Father God, we ask right now, God, yes, that you Lord. teach us, oh God, that you train us, oh God, that you teach us how to talk like you talk, yes. oh God, that you teach us how to walk like you walk, oh God, teach us how to love like you love, oh God. Yes, Lord, yes, Father God, Lord. teach us, oh God, how to say what you say, oh God. Father God, believe, teach us, oh God, how to believe your word, oh God, and how to believe our word, oh God. Father God, we thank you right now, God. Father God, we thank you for the leader that you placed over this house, oh God. We ask that you touch our chief apostle, Vertice Rosier, right now, God. Touch him from the crown of his head, oh God. Touch him down to the sole of his feet, oh God. Yes. Father God, anything that you find in him, oh God, that's not like you, oh God, we ask that you move it, oh God. Yes. Father God, we ask right now, God, that you continue to minister to him, oh God. Yes. Continue to give him the word, oh God, that you have for your people, oh God. Yes. Continue yes. to give him the vision that he has for this house, oh God. Father God, we thank you right now, God, that you told us in your word that you've given us a pastor after your own heart, oh God. Yes, now, Father God, we ask that you strengthen his heart, oh God, that you strengthen his body, oh God. You know exactly what he stands in need of, oh God, and we know that you yes. said that you would meet our needs, oh God. Father God, but we thank you right now, God, for not only meeting his needs, oh God. Yes, we thank you right now, God, for the overflow in his life, oh God, in every aspect of his life, oh God. God, we love you and we praise you right now for him, oh God. Father God, we thank you right now, God, for our elect lady, oh God. We pray that you touch her, oh God, from the crown of her head, oh God, down to the sole of her feet, oh God. God, we thank you right now, God. Father God, we thank you for giving her the words to pray to keep our leader covered when we don't remember to do so, Father God. Father God, we ask right now, God, that you teach every, touch every one of his family members, oh God. From his shepherd, grandmother, oh God, all the way down to his nieces and nephews and granddaughters and great, great nieces and nephews, oh God. Father God, we ask that you cover them in your blood, oh God. That you keep them protected, oh God. God, we thank you right now, God. Father God, we thank you right now, God, for traveling mercies to get to this place, oh God. Father God, we thank you right now, God, for keeping us, oh God. Father God, we ask right now, God, that you teach us, oh God, how to minister your word, oh God. Teach us, oh God, how to evangelize to your saints, oh God. Teach us, oh God, how to go out into the world, oh God, and give us the words to say, oh God. Give us the actions to do, oh God. Teach us how to walk, Father God, so when we walk, they see you, oh God. God, we love you and we thank you right now, God. Father God, we thank you right now, God. God, we bless your holy name, oh God. God, you are mighty, oh God. God, you are wonderful, oh God. God, you are mighty, oh God. God, you are excellent, oh God. And we just thank you right now, Father. Father God, we thank you right now, 
God. Father God, we surrender all to you, oh God. Father God, we ask that you have your way, oh God. God, we thank you right now for touching us, oh God. Father God, we thank you for the word that you prepared for us, oh God. Father God, help us, oh God, to prepare to receive it, oh God. Touch our minds right now, Father. Anything that's in our minds right now, we bind it up in the name of Jesus, oh God. We rebuke every every distraction from hearing your word right now, Father. Father God, we thank you right now, God, for breaking up the ground in our hearts, oh God, that we can receive from you, oh God. God, we thank you and we praise you right now, God. Father God, we thank you for preparing our body position as we hear our word, hear your word, oh God. Father God, let it strengthen us, oh God. Let it make us new, oh God. Let us grow it up in you, oh God. In Jesus' name we do pray, amen. Say bless, 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 bless. bless, bless, bless.
the turn. Here we go. Thank you, priest. See, we have to move very quickly night due to the inclements of weather. While you're standing, though, thank God for this church. Amen. We usually take time to thank God for all the leaders, but I need you to help me thank God for all the members here, all the at home that celebrate you and come on, celebrate them. We. We're going to give honor where it's due. It's due out here with you. Amen. Have your seats in the presence of the Lord. Uh, those that are at home, if you're watching, if you would make some comments on Facebook to let me know you're on. Or, uh, but tonight, amen, I want to do um, page such an incredible teaching. Amen. Y'all talk to me. Sometime, um, Elder Boone, I've said, and I probably shouldn't say it on Facebook yet, but I've been in prayer, serious prayer. And in praying, Draymond, I'm, I'm asking the Lord, why did you take us out of church for a whole year? For us to go back doing it the same way. I believe it's something we're going to have to change immediately. Amen, amen. It's something we're going to have to do different because it seems as though we just picked up where we left off at. Amen. And I believe God wants us to take the church outside. I do. I, I believe he wants us to go out and compel um, people to come to us. Uh, we come here every Sunday. And we want them to just walk in here. And we have not compelled them um, to come. And so we're going to be doing something a little different on fifth Sunday. 
It's called blended, blending the community and the church. We're gonna, we're, we're not gonna, we're not gonna dress up. We're gonna go outside, and we're gonna look good, and we're gonna have our tents and our chairs, and we're gonna got to have that grill, and we're gonna cook for the community, and we're gonna invite them to come and play basketball and volleyball. Come on now, soccer and pass the egg or whatever. But I, I believe that the church has crowded out and emptied out for a reason. And, and between the, I had a meeting Sunday here, Elder Boone and Bishop Scott told me I'm the only person they know can run a church service from a cell phone. I don't know. And I, <laughs> um, and, but I, I believe I was talking to Bishop and I've been talking to Edward and Jessica. We have, we have really left a gap between the ages of 20 and 31. Amen. And a lot of things that we're talking, we're, we're focusing on the children and we're letting all the people do their thing. But then we're not having marriage counseling. We're not having marriage classes. We're not talking about investments. We're not talking about how to live a better life. We're not, we're just talking about being holy. Amen. And I think we got holy and speaking in tongue and all that down. So, amen. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be changing just a whole lot of things. Amen. I'm going to be changing. Because, bless your son. Amen. Um, yeah, we can do half off. Amen. Uh, because church, amen, in a sense to me, um, and, and to me, um, is that we just, we just, we just doing our regular thing and we've gotten comfortable with it. Uh, we've gotten so comfortable with it that the programs on the church is if you don't pray, we didn't do it right. If we don't read a scripture, well, what happens if the Lord use you? Or what happened if the Lord speak to you? Amen. And, and what has happened, we've shut down gifts trying to make other people validated. Amen. So I believe, hey, bless your sister, amen, Johnson, that God wants us to change some things. Do you believe that? Amen. Go with me tonight, every person in here, um, to the book of Habakkuk. The book of Habakkuk. Uh, we're going to go to Habakkuk, um, um, the, the second chapter. The second chapter of Habakkuk. Habakkuk, the second chapter. All of those are online. I love you all so much. Tisha, Tashia Driver and Shana Bloodworth, Amzi and Kiyas and Tuan Douglas and Amen. Leslie Grimes, Amen. Lashrell Taylor, Kaya Leonard and Shana. And all, all these that are on Lashania and Sharon and Sister Stanley. Come on, y'all. Uh, Monica James and Amen. The Cortina Collins. Amen. All of y'all, I may not call you on your names, but thank all of the Tanja Hollins. Thank y'all um, for being Benita Winston. All of, she's so faithful. Bless her heart. She's so faithful. Amen. Amen. I need you to go with um, Katisha to um, Habakkuk too. I want us to look at it very clearly tonight, um, Silas. I want us to look at it very clearly tonight, um, 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 sweetheart. It says, I will stand upon my watch. And I will set me upon the tower. And I watch to see what he will say to me. And what I shall answer when I am reproved. Verse 2. Verse 2 says. And the Lord answered me and said. Write the vision. Make it plain. Upon tables. That he may run. That read it. Go verse 3. Verse 3 says. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end. It shall speak and not lie. Though the vision tarry. Th th this, is the, this is the part here. That's very important. Though the vision tarry. Wait for it. Because it shall surely come, and it will not tarry. Amen. I want to talk to you tonight, amen, real quickly. Somebody say dreams and vision under construction. Say it again with me. Dreams and visions under construction. Now, I had to, I had to be careful um, with the subject elder um, prophet. I had to be careful with it because um, I know that everything that God has is done for us has already manifested um, it, it's manifested in the heavens and because it has manifested ebony in the heavens I'm trying to figure out the Lord why would you give me a message tonight faith or, or dreams and vision under construction because I believe somewhere along the way I'm Jermon, somewhere along the way sister Stanley that we as a saint stop dreaming 
Um, I believe that. I believe that somewhere so much tragedy has happened in our lives. Amen. That, that was a point that we just say, well, maybe it's supposed to be like that. Forget it. All right. And so what had to happen tonight, what had to happen is point one. Amen. Your faith had to kick back in. Or, or am I doing okay, Ebony? Your faith had to kick back in. Because this is it's important that we understand, amen, if you talk to me, amen, that he told Simon Peter, he said, Simon Peter, the devil desire to sift you like wheat. But guess what the Lord said? The Lord said, although he's desired to sift you like wheat, I pray not that he don't sift you like wheat, but he said, I pray that your faith... Are we together? That your faith fell not. So, so tonight, amen, I, I want you to take your vision. I want you to take your dream. I, I, I want you to put it back on the construction. Your, your, your faith tonight, your faith tonight, amen, is going to cause you to dream, write this down, until it manifests. Oh, come on now. Now, there are some things in your life that seem like it has been desired, like it's not going to happen, amen. But, but tonight, God help me preach this, amen. It's got to be a wonderful thing. There are some great things about to happen. He says, though the vision, I go to this side, then. though the vision tarry. Now, if he said, a uh, prophet, though the vision tarry, that means the vision has already been constructed. That means what God has promised you, he don't have to make it up. It's already done. Holy cow. Well, I feel that hollering thing on me tonight. So tonight, amen, I need you to do six things. Number one, the first thing I need you to do, I need you to get an idea. Glory to God. I need you to get what? An idea. Everything that happens has to start with an idea. Ah, thank you for helping me. It has to start with an idea. See, you're so busy trying to look at the provision how, or how you're going to pay for it or how it's going to happen. But you first got to have, oh, Rosia, you first got to have an idea. You got to say in my head it's already done. You have to say in my head I don't see the end, but he said he's the beginning. <laughs> Man, I'm hollering again. I'm hollering again. Look at your name and say dreams and visions manifest. Dream it until it manifests. See it. Until it manifests. All right, sit down. Look at somebody and say, I got here because I had an idea. I didn't even know where the money coming from. I put the flyers out. I didn't even get a yes from folk and I started doing stuff. I didn't even know I was going to build it in and I bought a car lot. real quick and tonight and tell them though the vision tarry I know I'm between say wait for it wait for it so the first thing you got to do amen you got to think it think it gives you what an idea got to think it when you think it again when you get an idea you think it can think on the idea so after you get the idea you think on it Lord help me preach this thing tonight Holy Ghost so you think it after you get an idea you think it after you think it guess what happened you develop it oh lord have mercy you start developing it amen nobody else can see it but you can see it <laughs> oh, glory to god uh, nobody else can understand it oh you don't have no money but baby i'm dreaming i'm dreaming y'all 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 sit down because you're gonna make me holler and i don't feel like hollering ah, i guess i do Sit down, y'all. Anybody at home hollering? I know they hollering at home. I know y'all trying to watch TV. I know you're trying to cook. But ah! I'm driving what I'm driving because I got an idea. I live in what I live in because I got an idea. I dress like I dress because of it. You 
just started a pressure washing company, right? When you drive through time today, you had an idea, right? When you drive through time tonight, I'm going to clean that building. I'm going to have that contract. I'm going to have that contract. Walmart going to call me. I'm going to make it. I'm going to Jackson. I'm going, baby, we ain't got nothing to load. But I'm going to spray that one light. We... somebody else trash and make a treasure you can say honey pick that up wait till the sun go down they put us out the road go back and get it let's put the kids out make sure to go back and get it shout somebody it's under construction baby yeah y'all laughed at me y'all thought i couldn't do it y'all said i was crazy some of my own family didn't believe it but i construction anybody know you're gonna develop it well baby after you develop it dream it after you dream it live it after you live it listen say what i'm about to do is about to change the whole world somebody hollering at home I feel the Facebook flipping I feel YouTube having a fit you don't have to come back here honey I'm coming to y'all you don't have to come here I'll make a dance in your living I dreamed it I saw it right this side So don't worry about me. At any moment you're gonna get it and go to screaming. At any moment you're gonna understand it's coming to pass. At any moment you're gonna say, "Let me go back to sleep." Have you ever had anybody wake you up out of a good dream and you say, "No, let me go back." Ah! There she go. There she go. I knew it was here. Everybody, she all right, y'all. Come on, let's sit down. Them family got each other. You better believe it. They raise, huh? Somebody else gonna get it. Right this time. Matter of fact, I need 80 people folk at home to holler this out. Say, I'm entitled to the finest that God has on earth. Y'all hear that at home? Did you hear it over here? I am entitled. You he think he's something. Boom, I'm already something. He think you rich. Sweetie, I'm already rich. I didn't think it. I am it. Say it with me again. I am entitled to the finest God has on earth. So stop looking at provision. Is that all right on the moon? Stop. That's good. Not nothing to do with the name of your company. <laughs> stop looking at provision. What we're looking at provision do? Write this down. It'll shrink your vision. You'll say, well, maybe I don't need a be uh, building that big. Y'all ain't hollering now. Maybe I don't need nothing that large. Because when you go to look at provision, it'll shrink your vision. 
pile right this down and we're going to run out of here. Provision has your name on it. Pro what did I say to tell you? Listen. Provision has your name on it. Well, how do I get an apostle? I'm glad you asked me. Believe it until it manifests. Believe it until it manifests. Well, I'm going to believe it until it manifests. Write this down. Provision been set aside just for me. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Blessings of the Lord making me rich and add no sorrow. I'm the head and not the tail, a lender, not the borrower. I'm above only. Some of provision has been set aside. So when provision was set aside, what's happening now? Faith is working now in the supernatural. Woo! Praise Rosia. So what I need to do, you need to train, retrain your learning. Did that man say? I went all the way to Jamaica then. Learn how to live in the overflow. See, when you have a, a little cup at home and you said I'm gonna be rich, start putting your little finger up and sip the tea. Start, what am I going to do? I, I think I'm doing all right. Start, write this down, practicing greatness. Start rehearsing greatness. Oh, honey, you so grand. I am. You act like you so much. I am. And so when folks start saying stuff like that to you, start saying, you're welcome. Thank you. Because I dreamed this. I didn't know you were there. So my vision is under construction. Jesus, write this down, has already made provision. So how do I get it? This is something I came up with. Understand God, Bill of Rights. Understand God. You understand your Bill of Rights here. Understand God. Bill of rights. Healing is already yours. Deliverance is already yours. So what you're going to do, write two things down. I'm going to run out of here. Make it, make it manifest and make it happen. So this is three things you're going to do at home. I need y'all to write this at home. I need you to type it and send it to me. <laughs> this is as crazy as I want to be. Write this down. Dream bigger. Think bigger. And perform bigger. Dream bigger. Think bigger. And perform bigger. When you have something, have it like the Queen Elizabeth is coming to. When you eat China out of your house, don't wait on no guests. You eat out of the best. Boy, I felt the Did you hear the Lord? I didn't know God was going to use me towards you tonight. <laughs> I didn't know that lady was going to be in this tonight. <laughs> Do you realize you are entitled to the finest on earth? I told you that. God has more than enough for you. Quit thinking heaven is running out. Heaven ain't running out. Heaven hadn't filed bankruptcy. They don't have chapter 13 and 7. This one is going to hurt, little boom, but I don't want you to post this if you don't mind. What time is it? It's time to live in it. I don't care what people think. I'm living in the I don't care what people think. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. It's time for me to regroup. It's time for me to recount it, and it's time for me to recapture it. So what's going to happen? Darlene, they don't come late in the white churches. What's going to happen? 
I've been waiting to get her, baby. I've been waiting to get her. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I've been waiting to get you, boo. Then I get her. Thank you, baby. Thank you very much. So what God is getting ready to do, I'm real quiet, Ella Boo, because I'm through. We're passing them a lot of notes. Make sure you share it with church. The Lord came, told me this. The Lord told me this, and it's not a lie. He says he's getting ready to restore to you what 10 generations lost. 10 generations, hallelujah. Ten generations. You're not going to get early dementia. You're not going to lose your mind. You're not going to get all timers. You're not going to get cancer. These things. Ah! Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. It's going to restore what ten generations. Stuff that should have already been yours. to somebody else. It's getting restored to you. The fairness of what you know is supposed to be yours. It better be restored to you. You didn't fight over stuff. Get ready to restore. Hallelujah. Stop that below to your son. Stop that below to your daughter. Stop that below to your family, your brother. Hallelujah. 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 I sat here waiting. I knew it was coming, Lord. Hallelujah. I got weary. Yes, I did, but you told me not to, but I did. I was doing well and got weary. But it's back under construction. My child will come off drugs. My child will not be an alcoholic. A child will not lose their mind. A child, they will not. I'm taking this stuff back. Hallelujah! Restoration has finally come. Thank you, Lord, that our vision is back under construction. Thank you, Lord, that we're gonna dream it till it manifests. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That I'm going to capture and bring every thought in, every thought into captivity. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring those thoughts back in. I'm, gonna, I'm overthinking. I'm, I got so much going on. I got, I'm trying to make it happen, but now I realize all I got to do is believe it, write it down, think it, obey it, do it. Thank you, Lord. I'm done, but thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for being I am. I am the true vine. I am the shepherd. I am the way. I am Alpha. I am Omega. For I've sat in their homes. The devil couldn't get them one way. They try their children. Couldn't get them through their children, they try the husband. Couldn't get them through the husband. They try the babies. They try mama. They, any avenue they feel they can get in, and you stood. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So tonight is back on the construction. I'm not gonna promise you, Lord, that sometime I'm not gonna waver. But if I do, hold me in your hand. 
not going to get in here and lie before the saints. But you said whoever's in the Lord's hand can no man pluck it out. Father, I receive it tonight. I mean, I'm not just preaching, Father, I receive it. But I'm going to do, you know, I don't really know the song. I guess that's here. Speak to my heart. Give me a holy word. If I don't hear from you, then I don't know what to do. I won't go alone. I never go on my own. Except that your spirit got and in your word, speak to my heart. 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 I was at the station. I try to play songs. I heard the wine and say something like that. Seeing you work in others, now I want you to work in me. I seen you work, I seen you work in others. Now I want you to work in me. Is that it? I seen you, I seen you work in others. I seen you do. Now I and see, I have to stop because Elder Boone is from Detroit. You just can't mess up with Detroit songs, so I'm going to stop. Amen. Give the Lord the best praise you can. <laughs> the word was such a blessing to me. Remember, I said this, and I know people watching. The Lord took us out of the church for a reason. And we can't come back in here doing the same thing. It's something, it was a reason we was out there. And I believe he took us out there to go and compel and win. And we sit in here and get fat every Sunday and we're waiting on them to come to us. But we're going to have to get out. Amen. If the Lord come in and change service, are you mad? You may not want me to sing or you to sing. You may just want me to stand here and teach an hour. Let's go with God. Give God the best preacher. Can. Tonight while you're standing, we have, we're doing so much here. If when you drove up, if you noticed the new mailbox out there. Amen. Amen. There's some things we're working on the pavilion uh, that we're going to need. We'll be talking about that son. But every person, I need you not to, not to quench or budge but I need 20 people at home and 10, 20 people here to help me tonight with a $50 seed I, I want you to do that if you're tithing lift your hand but it's here you have it it's here Nisha I want you to help me I want you to help me that's 20 thank you that's 20 thank you thank you thank you 20 can that's nothing that, that's nothing that's nothing thank you wife thank you your seed will you come all over the temple Ooh. Hallelujah, hallelujah. come on let's make it happen oh. Woo. what a word
home. I love you all. I love this church. I love this church. Amen. On the 30th, 29th of this month, amen, I want everybody to meet us in Macon. We're going to be running the advertisement. Amen. Um, she's going to buy 98 commercials. Um, I, I believe it's going to be bigger than what we think. And this word tonight confirms. Um, well, thank you. Amen. I want everybody to support it. Amen. Um, fifth Sunday, fifth Sunday, um, the Lord told me to go back, Pastor. We, we have lost the ages 20 and 31. And we're going to go back and recapture those and involve them in church and what we're doing here. Amen. When we were younger, they put us to work. As they said, we were the church for tomorrow. Amen. We have a church today already. Amen. I, I would then, um, um, Tasha, come and raise this offering tonight. Yeah, Tasha. Oh, no, go get your money. Just come and raise your offering. Money. Well, praise the Lord. What do they do down there? <laughs> Thank God for the word on tonight. Awesome word, awesome word. Now that word need a powerful offering. So with a word like that, let's dig in your wallet, your purse. Let's show him that we appreciate the word, him being obedient to what God had told him to give to us. So no particular order, you can come with your gift with a smile on your face. Rosier, amen. Hey, um, I, I'm really, I'm talking about this a lot because I, I really think somewhere if we go come back in here doing the same thing, we didn't learn nothing. I, I really do. I'm not just saying. I really, 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 really do. You know, church has gotten so programmed here. If somebody sit in our seat, we look crazy. You know? And you got some folk won't sit in the seat because we're like, you know that's her seat. You know? But what if you come here one Sunday and there ain't no seats? Uh, what if you come here next Sunday? They came here one Sunday. I had moved the pool pit over there and had the church and a fan. I did. And the pool pit was here. Amen. Well, it's time that's a change up. And I'm going to be talking to people like Elder Boone and Jermon and um, young folk, Shanita. You know, because I, I, I paid y'all, this one sweetheart, y'all have some ideas. Amen. And, and the reason, the reason, the reason we backslid so much is because they only told us about church. So when we got in the world, we were crazy. Because it was like a shock. Like, you can do that and go to church. You can wear that. Whoa. And we weren't ready for the world. 
Because the church told us everything we couldn't do, but they didn't tell us what we could do. Amen. And so I want to change that. Amen. I, I, I do. I don't think I don't think God wants us to come here every Sunday and get a sermon either. I believe that sometime that I need to pull some people that just have inspirational words. That's that that you've wrote in your book and it's been in your tablet, sending your dresser. And you be telling folks like, oh, baby, I got some st enough stuff wrote in my book. I, we need to hear that stuff. Don't listen. Look at your neighbor and say, don't take your dream to the grave. Don't, don't take it to the grave. Use it. And I'm going to let you use it here. Amen. I've been preaching 37 years. And if I don't preach no more, I preach enough. Amen. Thank you, Jermaine. Thank you. Amen. Amen. And so I want to I wanna see what others have. Because guess what? A real mama or a real daddy ain't jealous of a child. Because they want the child to do better than them. All right, I love you all. Listen, I need y'all to tune in in the morning, but I need you, we both, we need you to hit share. It's the reason I'm doing this. This is, thank you, son. This is big. Y'all get so caught up, you don't hit share. Amen. I'm going to be checking pages. Amen. I'm checking them once, checking them twice. Can't go to heaven with a sweetheart and a wife. Amen. So I'm just crazy. Um, but, but come and, and, and join me and help me. Amen. And even if you don't watch me, if you have to turn me down, amen, we need numbers. All right. Our station is doing just amazing. It's doing amazing. Amen. Um, Sunday is Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Amen. I, mother, you, you, I'm going to be speaking too. Amen. Mothers putting the program. Mothers are getting together. putting the program together. But well, we got a wonderful Mother's Day I'm, I'm serving. I'm giving Mother's Day gifts to every mother in the church. All right. Every mother will have a gift. All right. Be careful with that. All right. God bless you. I love. I think I better stop while I'm ahead.